Ian, thanks for giving us a few minutes today here at White House Machine Tools. Uh, we all know that the spinner brand of five axis machine, or the, the spinner brand on a whole, is becoming very popular, not just obviously around the world, but in the UK now, they're supplied by you guys. What's interesting here is we've seen a really nice demo cutting. Often we don't actually see the machines in action. But just tell us a little bit about the demonstration that you've got here, what material we've been cutting, uh, and also kind of what the feeds and speeds are. Yeah, and um, the material um, we're cutting is um, a 316L stainless steel. Um, we're cutting with a spindle speed of 4,700, a feed rate of up to uh, 3,500 millimetres a minute, um, using eye machining strategies or tricoidal machining. Um, so you are tr you're using the tricoidal milling on here. Uh, when, when, we, when we look at this as a, as a demo, is stainless normally quite a difficult material to... Is it quite sticky? Is it... Yeah, it can be very sticky at times. That, um, that's why we have to run with the coolant on there to keep the uh, to wash the swarf away, so we don't clog the cutters up. Uh, but with the cutters we're using, with the MA4 cutter we've got in there, um, it's got five flutes on there, so it tends to throw the swarf out straight away. So as long as we've got the coolant running, we tend to be okay. I mean, it's, it, it's quite it's good to see uh, machines cutting stainless like this. But for, for me, you talk about the tool there. Is it a combination of the tool and the machine, or is it is it more the tool here, or is it more the machine? Um, it's um, a combination of both, really. Yeah. And the machine is very sturdy with the uh, with the C axis and the B axis we've got on there. It's supported with a big um, with the big bearings and the big A frame at the front to support it. It is a very rigid machine. We can put up to 500 kilo onto the table, so we can swing the table about. Um, with no issues whatsoever. So people looking, thinking these are just aluminium machines, this really flies in the face of that, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly does. Um, with this machine, it is a very heavy duty machine. Uh, we've had a 40 mil usual going in there, 80 mil deep, um, running at 1200 RPM, 100 mil feed rate, and you know, it's gone through that like, like a hot knife through butter. Tell us about this control here, Ian. This is brand new Siemens touchscreen. Is it uh, good to have a touchscreen on a machine, on a modern day machine tool? Um, yeah, with the um, Siemens controller, it's got the A40D controller, which is um, with the new touchscreen on there. It is very user-friendly. Um, it's very, very responsive, very quick, so you can get to all the menus very, very quickly to where you want to be. So, yeah, it is very good. And what about the actual overall look and feel of this machine? Uh, getting into machines is always important. Has, it, has this got nice ergonomics, in your opinion? Uh, yeah, it's very easy to get into the machine um, with both doors opening up, um, so you have a nice wide opening. So you can easily load billets in there. So if you need, if you've got a heavy billet, you can either use a four truck or overhead crane. So there's plenty of room to get around the machine, and the controller swings right out of the way. So and, and there's a, well, there's a few options that look to me that, that might maybe options on this machine. Have you got an extended roof here? Uh, yeah, we've got the extended roof um, to keep the uh, old machine enclosed with the through coolant on there. So we've got the through tool coolant on there, which is 22 bar of pressure. So we've got the extended roof on there, so the coolant stays within the machine. And what about all the, the pumps and equipment around the back here? Is, is this just for coolant filtration, or is it for, for the high-pressure coolant? What, what does it serve? Um, we've got the, uh, the swarf management system underneath the machine, which has got the uh, normal coolant pumps on the back. Then we've got a high-pressure tank at the back, which is um, classed as a clean tank, where it lifts the coolant from the main tank into there, which will supply the high-pressure coolant through the spindle. Now, you're not a salesman, you're an applications engineer, but you've, you've had a lot of hands-on experience in your uh, history uh, in manufacturing, haven't you? What, what's your opinion of this machine compared to some of the others that you've worked, so, so engineers can feel it from somebody that is actually hands-on? Uh, well, with the spinning machine, it, you know, it is very reliable, it's um, robust, it's very strong. Um, I've had no issues with it whatsoever in the past when I've um, been working on a shop floor with them. Um, it is a really, really good machine, and I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a five-axis machine. They are, again, like I say, they are robust, very, very strong. What does that 620 stand for? Is that the diameter of the table? Yeah, that's the diameter of the table, this 620. But we can, um, the, uh, the table has got an outer ring what can be removed to make a smaller table, so if we need to get closer to the, to the smaller work pieces. And you mentioned earlier you're machining at four, just over 4,000 revs on this. But surely it's a higher speed spindle, isn't it? Yeah, it's got um, 12,000 RPM on this machine, um, so it is a quick machine, so if we need to get to smaller tools, we have got a higher spindle speed if we need to get up there. But evident that it's capable of machining at the lower ends as well as the, at the top as well then? Yeah, yeah, definitely so. Um, you know, if we can cut on here uh, 2,000, 3,000 RPM, and you've got plenty of torque in the spindle, so yeah, it is a very, very, very strong machine.